What's going on everybody fishing the odds here? Today I'm going to talk about how to make your own slinkies for side drifting, for bobber dogging, and you can use them under a float as well, but I prefer not to. Um, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys probably already know how to make your own. Some of you guys that may buy some, um, in the long run it's going to be a lot cheaper to make your own slinkies and also you can make them in abundance and always have weight ready to go on the river. This is very effective for bobber dogging and for side drifting. I very rarely lose slinkies. <laughs> for some reason, um, maybe it's the profile that they are. They're really not snaggy. Um, so there's a couple reasons why I wanted to do this video. And uh, in comparison to pencil lead, a slinky, as you guys can see, I've made up several right here. A slinky, you can make several different weights. For example, I have a five bead slinky here. I have a six bead slinky here and I have a seven bead slinky here. So, unlike, you know, pencil lead, where every time if you have too much weight or not enough, you have to add more, cut a longer piece of pencil lead, or you need to um, cut some off. And that's just time on the water that you guys don't need to be wasting. So, I'm down here in the river today and I just kind of wanted to go over a little tutorial on, on how to make slinkies. So there's several reasons why I think they're they're, they're a great thing to have um, in your tackle box. So let's get started here. Are some of the things that you're gonna need. So, for example, you'll need some scissors. <laughs> Cut your cord, your slinky cord. It's basically like a nylon cord. You'll need a lighter of any sort. Um, some pliers or your fingers, if you don't mind them getting hot. And then, of course, you're gonna need your slinkies. And your BBs. This is where the real money's at, right here in the BBs. Comes with a cap, you just pop this off. You buy these at Sportsman's, Bymart sells these. I think Bymart's a couple bucks cheaper actually. So, um, let's get started on how to make your own slinky. So you got your slinky cord here. I'm gonna cut off just a little bit. Just gonna make a cut right there. Like I showed you. So now you have your slinky, okay? This is just one. So when you're gonna be cutting, say a five bead slinky, you'll put the beads in it, find out the right length, and then just cut, just cut like 15 or 20 of these in a row. For the for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut one, show you guys how to make one. You're gonna take your lighter, and you're gonna heat up that end. As you can see, it's melting. It melts real good, right? Okay, as it's melting, you're gonna take your pliers and crimp the end of it, just like that. There you go. That is now sealed. It cannot come off. Look at that. So, at this stage in the game, you're gonna take your little BBs here and you're gonna start to fill it up, okay? It's pretty easy. Okay, I poured several in my hand. They're just little split shot, kinda. They look just like that. You're just gonna slide your binkies in. Squeeze them all the way to the bottom. That's two. Four. I think I'll make this a five bead slinky. Cause five is a very common number I use on a lot of your walking speed rivers. So there's five beads in there. As you guys know, Steelhead love that walking speed water. I'll show you the water I'm fishing behind me as well with the slinkies. I will show you the applications that these are used in. So now you're gonna melt the other end, right? Get it real nice and melted. Boom. And take your pliers. Squeeze. There you go. That is now a five bead slinky, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the rig. Um, I'll show you this under a bobber dog and float, and then I will show you a side drifting rig in which these are used. Your three most common sizes that you'll use for steelhead is five, six, and seven. That's why that is all I have in my tackle box. Great for bobber dogging. If you're floating in a raft or a drift boat, five bead slinkies are the way to go for your bobber dog and floats. And I say that because if you go with a five, um, while you're bobber dogging down the river, you're gonna snag a lot less. 
right? If you're on the bank, you want to get your presentation down as quick as possible. Therefore, um, in this walking speed water that I have behind me or in front of me, um, I would be fishing a six or a seven just so that I can get my presentation down there quicker and thus I'm fishing the hole quicker and more effective instead of the, the middle or last part of the hole. Because if I'm side drifting or if I'm bobber dogging, I want my gear down there almost as soon as it hits the water, but not too much to where it's just gonna be snagging the entire time, right? Here you guys go, here's my bobber dogging float. I use these little poochy three-way barrel swivels with a snap. Small, the steelhead can't see it as much as I can, a big bulky barrel swivel. Keep everything small for steelhead, guys. Just another little tip, but all you do is snap it right through. It goes right through that cord. Right? That's my bobber dog presentation right there. So this is my bumper. 15 pound, fluorocarbon. I have a small bead, a big bead, and then a bobber dog and float. I don't have a bead below it, you notice. I keep everything small. I don't want a bead here because I think a steelhead might see that bead that's down there. So I keep it as small as I can. This is a six bead slinky because I'm bank fishing here today. And then I got that going to my leader and some yarny and a bead. Let me show you that in a minute. Today's setup, I have a yarny with some eggs and a bead. So we're gonna be bobber dogging this here in the run real quick. This is just one type of run that you guys will be fishing these slinkies. So almost immediately, as you guys can see, my bobber dog float got down there, got fishing. That six speed slinky, I'm not, I'm not tangling up right now. It's getting a nice slowed down drift, which gives the steelhead a little bit more time to react to your presentation. So let me reel that in. Let's get another cast out there. You don't always want your gear going the speed of the current. That's one of the benefits of the bobber dog. But this slinky, as you guys can see, it didn't tangle up. And the slinky don't really hardly ever tangle up. I'm gonna cast a little further out there. Sometimes I'll work my way out to in. In this case today, I'm working my way in to out. As you guys can see, I still have not tangled or hit bottom or snagged bottom. But to be fair, oftentimes you wanna look for those good gravel bars where those steelheads sit. This don't have big old giant boulders either. This is not a scenario you will fish with giant boulders, okay? This is a, a gravel bar presentation with these slinkies. If you're fishing big boulder holes, you want a float with a worm or a jig, okay? So here's my side drifting setup. My bumper line, 15 pound fluorocarbon, going down to a three-way barrel swivel with a snap, and my slinky, my leader line, and then a corky, and usually I'll have eggs, but uh, I do not have eggs here today. You could do a yarny and a corky as well. I have yarn balls that I'm gonna be throwing on here, but that's initially that's the setup, okay? I got my slinky and I got my side drifting setup. So when you're when you're side drifting, you wanna cast at like a 10 o'clock position and let it side drift down and then work your way down the bank and cover all the water that you can. Cast in close, cast middle, cast far. But anyway, this is the slinky. And how it performs. I raise my rod tip to get the line out of the water. You can feel that slinky ticking on bottom right now. Ticking, 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 ticking. If you start to feel it barely grab something, just pop the rod tip just a little bit. You're good to go. But right now, I'm just fishing the bottom with a cork and a piece of yarn. It's a good way to do it, guys. All right, guys, so a little bit about the setup that I'm running today. I got 30-pound high-vis braid. To a bumper i always have bumpers on my line but anyway uh this is the cast king reel this is speed demon it's a 2000 size has a lot of drag smooth drag love that and that going to the rod i got a cast king chrome rod it is the float drifter 10 foot as you guys can see it is a 6 to 12 pound and the lure weight is if they'll focus 3 8 ounce to 3 quarter ounce Perfect for side drifting, perfect for float fishing. But I also have a, a free drifter rod that I use for my 
my side drifting and this is my float rod. The free drifter rod I have for side drifting is a nine foot. Here it is. That's got my bobber and a jig on it right now. But those are the setups guys. Good rods to have. So in essence guys, I believe that a slinky is a more effective way to fish than pencil lead or than buying those super expensive little bell weights, you know, that you just attach to your, to your snap. A slinky, you could take an hour out of your day um, and you can prepare 20 slinkies and that will get you through a season. Um, I'm still going off slinkies that I made last year. Well, I still have plenty. So it's a little expensive at first. You got to spend about 30 bucks to get all the stuff that you need. But when you spend 30 bucks, you got all your weights that you're going to need for the next several years. Um, it's affordable, in my opinion, when you compare it to the long run. It's simple. If your weight is too much, put a six-speed slinky on. Don't cut nothing. Don't don't uncoil your lead. You know, it's easy. It's effective, and it's affordable, in my opinion. So hit that subscribe button, guys, if you like this slinky video. Um, just back to the basics, man. Teaching you guys a little bit on how to make slinkies for some of you guys that don't know or that weren't aware that slinkies was a was a, a method for, for getting gear on the bottom. I mean, a lot of guys, they fish lead, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, share the video out. Going to uh, be hitting the coast pretty hard for steelhead soon. I'll be running these slinkies, bobber dogging all the way down the river. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos, guys. Tight lines, get on the river, catch some fishies.